Alright guys and girls, in this video <clears throat> we're going to do two things. One, I've got a mail call. I uh, wasn't expecting it, actually forgot about it. I know he said he would send some stickers when he got some more. Uh, I guess he finally did. So this was a surprise to me. And we're going to talk a little bit about this new YouTube demonetization rules. I know you've seen a lot of videos about it, but we're going to have a short discussion about it. Uh, following this mail call so let's get to it since this was a surprise I already peaked but I still want to use the Papa Texas letter opener so I'm gonna do that anyway I didn't make the noise that means you gotta send me more stickers <laughs> let's see what we got in here VW P8 he does Volkswagens, messes around with some ATVs, some more Volkswagens, hangs out a lot with his kids, he's got videos going places with them, uh, Volkswagen, he does a little bit of, little bit of cooking and a bunch of other stuff, and oh yeah, he likes Volkswagens, so I don't know if, you know, I can stress that enough, but what we got in this mail call, let's see, we got a a little gold coin, four leaf clover for good luck. There you go, there's a little four leaf clover. A little coin. Keep that around the shop for good luck. We have VW P8 sticker in red and yellow. Hmm. I gotta figure out which one I'm gonna put on the board. Hmm. I'll figure that out in a minute. International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers sticker. Cool. That's a lot of words on that. But, uh, cool. Washington postcard. I was hunting for one of them last weekend. Washington Rob Hope hope this finds you well here are a few stickers not sure which would work best on your wicked sweet sign I can always send you a white one later hope you enjoy thanks for all the support p8 all right that's awesome this guy's pretty entertaining to watch I would say definitely go and check him out um, I will put a link down in the description this description is gonna be different than my other mail calls but you'll see why here shortly so let me scratch my head and figure out which one I think is going to look best on the sign, get it put up, and we'll be back. It was a tough choice, but I decided to go with the yellow one right next to Papa Texas. So VW P8, definitely go check them out. You know, we've got tons of people on the sign here, and all of them are quite spectacular and it's kind of a a bunch of different genres you could say so definitely if you want to check out any of these stickers their channels are like I said this this description is going to be different but if you want to check out any of these other guys besides VWP8 go back to my last mail call and all the links are in the descriptions or the description so definitely go check them out check out VW P8 and I need a class on how to do those stickers I think it turned out okay but there's a couple spots I messed up but it'll be alright alright guys let me get reset up and uh, we'll talk for a minute Alright guys, starting to get cold in the shop now. Glad I did the, the fan review earlier. If you've watched these past, uh, I think I've done four videos. Yes, I'm wearing the same thing because I had a bunch that I wanted to knock out. So I figured I'd take a few hours and just knock them out. So, by now I'm sure many of you have seen that YouTube has enacted a new rule come February 20th that is going to cause a 
lot of channels to be demonetized. Now, monetization is something that <clears throat> I don't believe a channel should start just because they want to make money. Um, but that is... And, and I'll admit, even for me, that was something that was appealing when I started Chaos Garage. You know, right now I'm at approximately 780 subs. I've gotten an influx over the past couple of days, and I, I greatly appreciate people giving the shout-outs and, and kind of bringing people to other people's channels and stuff like that. Um, I hope that most of these will actually watch the videos and respond and interact and you know become viewers not just a subscription number so the new rules saying that there has to be 4,000 watch hours in a year or in 365 days and 1,000 subs is kind of it's kind of up there and I kind of see why YouTube did it with the the whole ad apocalypse thing and the advertisers pulling out and all that kind of stuff and without getting into the, all the politics and and all that kind of stuff um, I wanted to give you guys a few channels to check out um, all these are under the 1000 sub threshold um, me with seven seven hundred and eighty subs on this channel by February twentieth. I don't know if I'll hit a thousand, but you know what? It is what it is. The little bit of money helps, but it, it's nothing I can't live without at at this point. And uh, I'm gonna keep making videos and keep half-ass attempting to entertain you guys. So hopefully. Well, there is no hopefully about it. That that's it. So I'm not going anywhere. I'm hope I'm hoping that a lot of these other channels aren't going to get discouraged and quit making videos because there's a lot of smaller channels that I really enjoy watching. Um, and I'm going to give you a few now. For those of you who have been on been a follower of chaos garage for a while you can tell i do all sorts of stuff or we do travis does stuff with me too but stuff from the deer camp to building the chaos cart to working on the firebird to repairing lawnmowers uh pretty much you know, welding fabricating anything that anything that we want to do really and we put it out there for you guys to to be entertained or judge us or laugh at us or say hey look at that dumbass he's doing it all wrong you know whatever that's fine that's that's what we do it for so since I watch so much well since I do a plethora of things um, I also watch a bunch of different genres I'm gonna call them of, of videos you know you've got your outdoor people your tool people ATV people people that do vlogs, um, you got video game people, uh, you know, just about anything you can find on YouTube. I've got certain categories that I enjoy watching, and they're not always related to the shop and things I do down here. Um, so I picked I picked three categories, and this, this was very hard to do. Um, as part of like the the top hashtag top five Blue Wrench Mafia help, I chose I chose uh, the tool slash mechanic category, and I wrote down I've got a whole sheet of paper here full of channel names, and I wanted to narrow it down to five picks. Now, if you're not in this five, doesn't mean you're as good or worse or better or whatever than any of the other channels these are just what I wrote down and went through and just said I picked five pretty much well kinda at, at random of all the ones that I wrote down so these guys are all under 1000 and 
I don't want them to get motivated because I or I don't want them to get demotivated because I enjoy watching their channels. Um, and also, I'd like to to just give them a shout out, kind of spread the word because they are doing a good job and and I enjoy them. So I want other people to see the job they're doing and enjoy them as well. <clears throat> So I've got the tool slash mechanic category, and I've got a ATV slash mudding category because I enjoy watching people riding ATVs and all that stuff. And then I've got an all-around category. An all-around category is people who do a little bit of everything, which is more akin to Chaos Garage, I would think, because you know, I, as you see, we we do a lot of different stuff around here. And honestly, just like my, just like the channel motto says, you never know what's going to happen on Chaos Garage. I, I don't ever know what's going to happen on Chaos Garage. We just video it, and there you go. So out of the tool slash mechanic category, and I'm seeing spots because I got a light right there, and then I'm trying to read off this piece of paper. <clears throat> In the tool slash mechanic category, uh, definitely five channels you should check out is Rob's Wrenches, HodgePodge Garage, Chevy Powered Fox 555, Straight Six Fan, and Rusty Glove Box. Now those are, <clears throat> I'm not going to call them top five. They are five of many, of many. Um, if you want more people in any of these categories, just feel free to shoot me a message and I'll load you up with so many people it'll make your head spin. Um, <laughs> since I enjoy watching the, the ATV riding and all that kind of stuff, uh, I've got a few of those that I really enjoy watching. One is ATV, EH TV, uh, NOS ATVs, and Elemental ATV. They all kind of ride together, um, doing different videos, different perspectives, and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. We've also got a uh, guy, guy's channel by the name of Swamp Ass. He's pretty entertaining to watch. Uh, he's he did a video the other day where he found a uh, in his battery compartment was fish bones. Now he, I guess he got a little too deep. That's the first time I've <laughs> I've seen dead animals like that come out of battery compartments in a four-wheeler but you know, besides bugs and stuff like that but it's pretty entertaining and then we've also got Rob Farrow ATV uh, he's another good entertaining person to watch a lot of mud runs and stuff like that <clears throat> all-around category is probably just as hard as the tool slash mechanic category but I narrowed it down to five, and I'm kind of cheating with one because he's got two channels, but that's all right because this is my video. Um, Ghost Mo Vlogs is definitely worth checking out. Get Stick Customs, uh, he's pretty new to me, but I've I've been really enjoy watching him. Um, Lucky Larry does a lot of gun restoration and electronic work. Wally's Place 66, he does a bunch of different stuff. He's he's entertaining to watch. And the one I said I'm cheating on because he's got two channels is the Bobcat guy who also has another channel called Keith TV. Like I said in this list, this is not a definitive list. It's not a top five. It's just a five. Um, like I said, I wrote down a whole piece of paper full, and it was very hard to just pick out five of them. Um, but just doing my part to raise some awareness for these guys, and you know, you've got V Dub with the mail call, and and all the other channels that have sent me stickers and stuff like that. It's definitely worth checking all of them out. I will put links in the description, and you can check out these channels and these categories. Um, and like I said, if, if if you want some more recommendations, I will gladly give them to you. Just send me a message or an email or something like that. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, what else? 
I'm gonna encourage all the uh, all the viewers and content creators alike to help the community and the community being YouTube help keep some of the other people that don't have quite the views like I do of you know eh, Google's always gonna change the rules I'm in a different spot with 780 subs than somebody with 300 subs or, or less so I encourage if you're looking for new entertainment new YouTube channels you know go out there find find new channels start throwing out some subscriptions and you know following them for a while if you don't like them nobody's gonna nobody's gonna chastise you or anything for unsubscribing so you know you just do what you gotta do but you know help support some of these guys they see their sub numbers going up it will motivate them um, in a lot of ways one not to quit and two to uh, you know maybe step up their game if, if they feel they need to um, stuff like that so like I said I'm just trying to do my part and now I'm starting to ramble so I'm gonna go ahead and close the video links will be in the description for these 15 channels um, tons more if you want more just let me know and let's keep all these guys motivated and on YouTube now don't forget sub for sub is against the guidelines of YouTube so avoid that I would definitely say follow channels that you think you'll find entertaining alright guys that's all I got for now knocked out a lot of videos today I got a lot of editing to do so uh, I guess we'll see you shortly on Chaos Garage